Once again, we're going to go to our Facebook crew for chiming in and giving us a lot of ideas. Don't forget to add your ideas to our Facebook page and like us there, of course. But David Adam came up with an interesting twist to laws. Uh, so what we're going to tackle is the top three laws that should exist, but currently do not. So we could add them. So if we put up a change.org petition Ooh. to say, hey, we need this law added. If the Facebook game is strong enough from all of our crew, we can, we can get it in the American law. For example, my number three, I'm going to add a law that says or states, if your car or vehicle has cruise control, you are required to use it on the highway. <laughs> sands, 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 rain, or snow. So required to use it. Required. Required to use it. Um, hmm, I'd be guilty of not using it a lot because yeah. uh, on the highway, there's lots of... People who get in the way. I'll we'll just say that easily. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, you can go, you can go above it, obviously, but if you have it off, right, and then you're going about 68, mm -hmm. and right then right. I pass you, and then you're going 74, and you pass me, and I'm still going 72 at my speed, and we're just playing leapfrog, it right. really, really annoys me. <laughs> and I know that your 2016 Dodge Caravan has cruise control, so please just use it. It's a law. Uh, I'll throw, I'll probably Caravans will probably come with it, but actually not all new cars are made with cruise control. My mom just bought a new Chevy Cruze. It does not have cruise control. That's, the 2018 doesn't have that's cruise control. That's crazy. A, but, amazing to me. Yeah, B, crazy that's to why the law states if your car has it. Okay. I, I'll agree with that one. I, I, I like that. Yes. Now, how do you enforce that? Is, is it you just part? pull them over if you see them up and down and all over the place. And if they don't have it, have a good day. You could do citizen's arrest, too. Oh, wow. Well, like, I'm calling out this guy. I would pull it out. I'll pull immediately. And put it right on top of my car and make a sound. My number three is related to some of these things roaming around here, and that's a maximum number of pets in a house. Ah. So we all know a cat lady, and we make fun of a cat lady, but I think for all the safety of humans and non-humans involved, we need to have a cat cap. <laughs> what? So, it? so my, my, my square footage, so you have one pet per 200 square feet in the home. Okay. So that allows flexibility. So if you have a 2,000 square foot home, you're allowed up to 10 pets. If you get past that, that's where you get penalized. What about those that claim that they're outdoor pets? If they're outdoor all the time, perhaps. But still, you get stuff square footage. So if your yard is small, are moving your square feet. One does pet the law work different? Uh, does the law work differently with acreage? <laughs> Square feet and acreage will convert, yes. As far as what that converts to, I have no idea. I think it's 200, 200 feet. Do I need my engineering and law degree and some other, I don't Break know, out the landscaping degree to be able to figure out the sticker Convert, convert them all, yes. I kind of agree with this one, though. I kind of you can have too many, right? In fact, I was saving this for later, but I think it pertains now to yours. Okay. In the state, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this right. In the state of Illinois... It's a crime to possess more than $600 worth of salamanders. <laughs> well, what's the dollar? That's about 75 plus salamanders oh, in your possession. Holy cow. According, okay. to, according to fair market value. Like, yeah. <laughs> Is that salamander meat or just live salamanders? <laughs> It didn't stay. Hmm, 75 salamanders I think is a good cap. Okay, that, that for, sounds, for that, that sounds good. Reptile. Anything more than 75... You're a weird cat, <laughs> and, and I don't mean cat by the No animal. pun intended. <laughs> number two for you. All right, my number two, minimum age for space travel. So if you think being on a plane what? with a baby is horrible, think about going into orbit with a crying baby. Hmm. That's the reason why so, you So don't... you're saying it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, space travel, commercial space travel is actually coming within the next few years. They're going to start allowing people I'm listening. In, onto the ISS, the International Space Station. So you don't want to be stuck there with some weird seven-year-old who eats their boogers. I mean, <laughs> there, there needs to be a minimum age limit on space travel. So rich, rich people can't take their kids. It's just older adults only. I like this one a lot. Uh, I think it's 16, right? If you yeah. can drive a car, you can go to space. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So you're not going to 18. I like the 16. Like 16. Yeah, you were able to do that. Uh, and then we'll see how the 16-year-olds behave. Maybe we lower it to 15 <laughs> or something. You know, give the kids some experience in the space. Yeah, 15-year-olds. I would something. go. I'm a space nerd. You go to space? Yes, I would go to space. Other than being scared out of my gourd, I would go to space for sure. I think it's alright if you stay within vehicles. You stay within a rocket. You stay within the ISS. Spacewalks are the scary I just have shit. to. It's like flying. I just have to have someone come back from space and say like, "Hey, there's right? nothing, man. <laughs> like, you know, I flew to Vegas. So we'll be fine." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll fly. How hard could it be?" That's true. I need that. Yeah, I need that. Uh, just minimal training. That safety net. 
Uh, so my number two uh, is never going to happen because we're evolving this way really quickly, but I think talk to text in public should be banned. Talk to text. So you're talking to your phone and it writes out the text message. Yeah, when people do this. You right. Know, like, yeah, so I could go over to your house, dot, 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 <laughs> but it's at five, period. I would rather go at six, period. So... Like just call them or text it because there's people around you. It's just, it's it's just annoying. It's not normal to hear that. So maybe I'm being nitpicky here, but uh, I'm just I'm hoping and wishing this is not going to happen. You do it in your privacy of your home or in your office or whatever, but not in public. Now you're from a you are around college kids a lot more. So yeah. is it more frequent with college kids than it is for older adults? Uh, it's most frequent with my wife. Oh. <laughs> First, she talks. <laughs> That's the reason why it's she does talk to text everywhere, all the time. It's uh, half the time. I'm like, what'd you say? No, not talking to me. No. Okay. What is that? You so, not talk to te talk to text. Just right. for your own sanity is the reason why. Yeah, but uh, kids. No, I think we might have talked about this on the show before. But kids FaceTime the hell out of FaceTime. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't call. They don't talk to text. It's. FaceTime. They're right. not, they don't even look at each other. They, it's just on. <laughs> it's like my too. eyeball and my hair. And then they're like, yeah, okay, I'll see you in class. Like, you're just seeing them right now. Like, I don't That's know. That's a great impersonation, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. Appreciate that. Um, so the one thing that I liked about uh, you, our, our viewer and listener on, on Facebook especially, was that most of the laws created by our Facebook users, they gave the punishment. Oh yeah. Yeah, we didn't we didn't go that far, That's but true. I tried to come up with a punishment for my last one. So my last one is basically if a DJ does not respect a couple's do not play list at a Ooh. wedding, they should be uh, punished at the wedding reception. They should be punished by like dancing with Big Aunt, Aunt Fanny or like something weird. License revoked. Right? License D revoked. DJ, no license more revoked. DJ. Uh, this is a very important night for those two people. So I'm saying, you know, most important night and, and mm. definitely most impor important party of their lives. Yeah. And they, they don't want a third party ruining uh, their party. So Did this happen to you? Yeah. It did it happen happened. to me twice. Twice. See what in I mean? Same, like, in, I, I don't understand it. So, and, and I'm pretty sure like the last reception I attended, it, it happened. So, it just, why are we doing it? If it was, let's make it a law, get it strict, and follow the rules, DJs. I wholeheartedly agree with this one. What, what songs were on your do not playlist? Well, here was my issue. I gave, I created a playlist to, to play during like the cocktail hour. Right. The right tone of music is yeah. very important to me. They never even opened Just, that list and they were playing like it. songs that would have been on a do not play list during the like meal even. Like huh. salad, people are eating salad and playing like the cha-cha slide. <laughs> like what are we doing? Cha cha slide was on my do not play list, which got played twice. <laughs> there you in, go. In my wedding night, that was just my example. So who knew? They say a happy wife equals a happy life, right? Yeah. And if you get started on the wrong foot with the music choices, -ching, that's, that's just wrong bad. foot dancing. <laughs> uh, my number one is once again related to driving. So I think there should be a maximum age limit on driving a car. So Ooh. space minimum, driving a car maximum. So once you get past 85, you know, you start to have health conditions, your vision okay. goes bad, your reaction time goes slower. Okay. In fact, fatal crashes per mile drive is highest for those who are 85 and older. So okay. I'd like to set a maximum cap at 85 years per, per, per <laughs> So I'd like to set a maximum cap of 85 years old to drive a car. No testing, no renewal, whatever, 85, you're done. That gives you a good 70 years behind the wheel and you're not leading to more fatal crashes. So it's for the safety of everybody involved, not just those who are 85 and older, but everyone on the road. So I actually thought about something similar for this uh, topic. How old should someone be when they stop driving? But then I thought, damn it, when I'm 85, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out there balling. I'm gonna be like driving around, waving at everybody. You know, I'm gonna be going about 25. So deal with it. <laughs> but think about this: whenever you're 85, self-driving cars are gonna be there, right? Surely we're in flying cars by that time that are going to be autopiloted. By the time we're Look, reached I'm that a, moment. I'm a soccer coach. I don't make any money. I can't afford these self-driving cars. I'm going to be driving like like a 2027 Buick in like 2042, okay? So I'm, I, that's me, man. I'm telling you. I can't make this law because I'm going to be driving. And you're going to kill somebody. No, and I'm going too slow. I'm going to. I enjoy. I'm enjoying life. 
So that's what I'm not. I'm, I'm not driving around to like get places quickly. I'm driving around to, you know, pimp out my Buick and wave at the honeys. As long as you're not texting while driving. I know. Definitely not talk to text.